Alrighty guys, so the Digital Photo Easy Rig is a budget cure for a sore back on set when carrying heavy cameras all day long. But just because this is a cheaper option doesn't mean it lacks any of the features of something more expensive. So for the longest time, I shot handheld and on a gimbal with basically no assistance at all. And when you're young and you're limber, you can do that and you don't really have as many issues. But now I've been doing this for uh, over a decade. Seriously, like my body is starting to really see the side effects of carrying around big heavy cameras all day long. So my main style of shooting now is handheld because I love the feel and the look and like the speed at which you can actually like produce content. So naturally trying to find something that would help support my camera was eventually going to be something I would have to look into. But I always shied away from easy rigs just because of like how big and cumbersome they looked. But the more I've started shooting with like bigger camera rigs and like teams and stuff, obviously I needed a solution and I actually started borrowing my mate Jason's uh, easy rig from Digital Photo. And since starting to borrow his, I really did see the benefits of like having some support, especially when you have a big heavy camera rig. And I knew that eventually I would have to get one for myself. So this is what I end up going for. So this is the Digital Photo easy rig and this is the eight to 18 kilogram model and it comes at a fraction of the cost of some of the more well-known brands. It comes in a protective bag, has a very easy to use adjustment wheel for adjusting the tension of the line and can be broken down slightly for packing away. Now I'll be honest, the number one thing that made me wary of buying a cheaper brand easy rig was comfort and load support. So firstly, let's tackle comfort. So I've used both the digital photo easy rig as well as the official easy rig as well. And I have to say, I can't tell the difference between one being more or less comfortable than the other. However, I did notice that the digital photo vest fit me a bit bigger just because I'm like a bit of a smaller build, which meant it was a little bit more snug on my body. And this is always going to be preferred because obviously the more snug it is on your body, the easier it'll be to actually distribute the weight evenly. I do, however, wish that the chest strap on the digital photo easy rig would go slightly tighter just for my build, like it's still slightly loose, but it's not the biggest thing in the world. And in terms of like my experience working with these in terms of comfort, it's not like I've just thrown one on for a few minutes and then thrown the other one for a few minutes. Uh, I did a 12 hour shoot with the official easy rig and I've done multiple, probably like four to six hour shoots with the digital photo one. And again, that's where I've pulled my experience from. But I do have to say that with both of them, like I didn't experience any discomfort from either. Now in terms of the load support, I have the eight to 18 kilogram model and it can easily hold my camera rig, which is about eight to 10 kilograms when it's fully rigged out. Now, one thing that I wish the digital photo easy rig had, which the official easy rig does have, is a way to stop that top bar from swiveling around. So if you de-rig it and leave it, it'll basically just swing around and bang into everything which is not ideal. Whereas on the official one, it has this little like thing which will stop it. It'll basically go like 45 degrees either way, but it will stop it. But I basically solved this problem by adding a carabiner to my shoulder pad, which I can then hook onto when it's not in use. And this helps to just like stay out of the way and also still not move around. Even if it did have something to stop it, it just like locks it in place. I've also added on a Kong Express Frog quick release system as well, which makes it so much easier to attach and detach from the camera instantly. The standard little hook system does work, but it can be a little bit awkward, especially when you're like, if you're rigged up and you're trying to de-rig it, trying to do it by yourself can be quite interesting. But with the Kong quick release system, it makes it so easy, even if you're just working by yourself, you can literally just click on, click off, and I know that it's gonna hold the weight, because I'm pretty sure it's rated for like five ton or something. Plus this quick release also came with that carabiner that I used on my shoulder pad to quickly connect it on. So a bit of a win-win there. Now you can also get an additional load serene, which will help smooth out the Z axis if you want like an even smoother experience. But for me personally, from using it on Jason's setup, I prefer using it without. I found that it made the camera like a little bit too floaty and a little bit, I guess, too unpredictable. I know we could have adjusted it more and probably set it up better, but in the short time that I used his and used the Serene, I just didn't really like it as much. And also as well, if you don't need an eight to 18 kilogram load, they have some lighter duty models as well, which will be a little bit cheaper as well. Now in terms of actually using this practically on shoots, the biggest thing that I've noticed is just like, I guess like not getting fatigued as quickly. So when you're shooting a commercial for, you know, like four or five hours or something, like obviously holding a big camera that weighs eight to 10 to 12 kilos sort of thing, you really feel it really quickly if you don't have something to support the load. And this is honestly the biggest thing that I've noticed since using it. I just, I can shoot for much longer. I don't get fatigued as much. And it also just, it, it allows me to be more focused on getting the shot because it's one less thing to think about because I just, it just, I don't have to worry about my arms getting sore. I can just like hold the shots for longer and all that kind of stuff. 
However, the one thing I'm still getting used to is obviously having that bar above my head. You just like your spatial awareness has to change because obviously like if you try to walk through a door, sometimes they're gonna hit the door frame. If you're trying to get something out of your car, obviously you just smash into your car. So I have thought about actually getting a tennis ball and placing it on the end just in case of, because I have banged into a few things a few times. But that is one thing to keep in mind when you do have this, just be very aware of your surroundings because you have, I have hit a few things while we've been shooting. But overall, super impressed by the build quality, the comfort, and the load support of the Digital Photo Easy Rig. And I think I even convinced my mate Loot, who has the official Easy Rig, and he's not really happy with that system. I think he's gonna switch to the Digital Photo one. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this one, then consider liking and subscribing to the channel. If you wanna find out any more about the Digital Photo Easy Rig, I'll leave some links down below. Otherwise, stay creative and just be you. Have fun.